Welcome to Words to Inspire, a meditation on God's Word that will inspire, strengthen and guide you to live a life full of God's presence. Sometimes fears stop us from using our faith and this is what happened with Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 19 verses 13 to 15. So it was when Elijah heard it that he wrapped his face in his mantle and went out and stood in the entrance of the cave. Suddenly a voice came to him and said, What are you doing here, Elijah? And he said, I have been very zealous for the Lord God of hosts, because the children of Israel have forsaken your covenant, torn down your altars, and killed your prophets with the sword. I alone am left, and they seek to take my life. Then the Lord said to him, Go. Return on your way to the wilderness of Damascus, and when you arrive, anoint Hazael as king over Syria. After he'd challenged the 450 prophets of Baal and seen the Lord answer with fire from heaven, after he'd prayed for rain and been answered with heavy rains after years of drought, Elijah listened to Jezebel's messenger, who threatened him for killing the prophets of Baal. After all he'd done, Elijah was afraid of Jezebel's threats and fled. God found him hiding in a cave. When he heard God's voice, he immediately came out of the cave. Then he heard, What are you doing here, Elijah? Obviously the Lord knew about the threat, but he wasn't concerned about it. Elijah tried to justify his hiding by saying that he'd received death threats. Again, God ignored it. God basically said, Go back, do what I say, and I'll take care of the threats. The Lord didn't punish Elijah for that moment of doubt. He didn't punish him for hiding in the cave, but he told him to get out of there and brought him back to reality, the reality of faith. The best way to get away from a threat is to obey. The Lord is good, a stronghold in the day of trouble, and he knows those who trust in him. The brave get out of their cave and take refuge in God. If you have been struggling to overcome fears, I would like to invite you for a moment of prayer. So please close your eyes. My God, in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask you to have mercy on us. I ask that you overlook our imperfections and weaknesses. If we are struggling with doubts and fears, I ask you to overlook this the same way that you didn't punish Elijah. You will have mercy on us, my God and you will strengthen us. If fear has been holding you back from doing what your faith is requiring, if fear has been controlling your life, if you've been afraid of persecutions, if you've been scared to take possession of your dreams, right now the Spirit of God puts His hand upon you and He gives you this courage, this boldness to follow your faith and achieve what you couldn't achieve before with the strength of your hands, to achieve a miracle, to achieve all that you purpose to do. God is using my voice to call you out of the cave in the same way that Elijah came out of the cave and overcame his fears. You will overcome your fears as well and God will give you this victory against whatever situation you've been stuck in. Take possession now of this courage because God goes before you he will give you this victory with this God-given bravery you are going to now assume your faith you are going to pursue your dream you are going to conquer a miracle with your faith you are going to use your faith to overcome whatever problem is before you you are going to use your faith and overcome this health condition you are going to apply for this job because God, He goes before you and He gives you this victory. And if you believe, if you accept this, if you agree, in Jesus' name, you can say, Amen. If you're tired of suffering, then please call our 24-7 helpline 0296 God bless you abundantly.